Hi, Monroe. I'm on our boat. Uh, it's the boat that I was on some time ago. Uh, it's as nice, if not nicer, than when I was on it. The guy is really a very anal owner, uh, as you'll see as we walk around the boat. Uh, I don't say this very often, but this is one boat I would love to buy because really low hours, you know, less than 700 hours on it, and just not a mark. I haven't been able to find a mark on the, on the woodwork. I mean, he covers all his, his soft soft goods, and yet, you look, it's all like new, every bit of it. Your electrical panel, that was the typical Viking, very clear, easy to, to interpret where what's on and off. As I go around and I see things that I would change if it was my boat, for example, the flat screen TVs now, this is a dated TV from, from the old three, but now you could get Heck, you could place a big one here if you wanted to, or at least certainly something larger than that because they're only a few inches, not even a few inches thick anymore, so they just go right on the wall. Everything, every time I lift something up and look down, it's all just like somebody has been, been through dusting it. <clears throat> Your head. The master stateroom. They must have spilled something on the the bedspread cover, so you need a bedspread, probably five hundred dollars with new pillow shams. But again, you look under here. If I can get it open, well, maybe it won't look under here. There we go. And everything is neat. He's got some new pillows and. You know, towels, things of that nature, but you have a lot of storage under here. If you look at the wood, there's not, again, a mark that I could find any place on any of the wood, the bright work. You have refrigerator, freezer, stove. I doubt if anyone's even turned the stove on. Now we'll go outside. Monroe, when I tell you that this guy is anal, he is anal. I mean, look at these seats. There's, there's absolutely no marks on anything. He marks all of his fire emergency systems, refrigerator, storage, but what drives me crazy is you open these up and 90 percent of the time they look like the devil and this is all neat and, and clean uh, he really is a, a fastidious fellow if you look around on the floor he's got a cover protecting the, the uh, gel coat of carpet rather and then a cover to protect the carpet <laughs> I mean that's just an indication of this this guy as you come around you'll find double protection under the helm seat also, and covers for the for all the electronics gear, and then he even has canvas going all the way around, and he lays stuff over the other uh, gel coat here just to protect it. So he's he's just a. a kind of guy you want to buy a boat from. I have a feeling that he's so anal that you probably wouldn't want to go out with him. Uh, his electronics are all good. They're all working as far as I've been told. Uh, they're dated a little bit, but they're still excellent equipment. Furuno North Star, um, two VHF radios, and uh, electronic spotlight. So you have everything you could hope for. Autopilot right at the helm and single lever controls. Now from here we'll go outside and we'll go through the 
the lockers in the cockpit. When Rose is in the cockpit, I opened uh, the hatches up. You have to understand, we had about four inches of rain two or three days ago. And yet, you look again in the, in the dress, there's a little bit of uh, stuff, but not much at all. And you get back here, and you look in the bill, and <clears throat> and you'll see it just shines back at you. Now one thing you're going to be disappointed in is there's no dive platform. But we can get that for you easily enough. Now you've got a cockpit freezer here. Big prep area here. Entrance into the engine room. Bro, I'm not a mechanic. We're in an, in an engine room, so don't believe anything I say. But basically, they're just really observations. Uh, it's the typical layout that's so known at, um, at Vikings. We have two uh, emergency uh, water evacuation, uh, from one on each engine. You have your three air conditioners over here. But if you, if you can see the air conditioners, well, maybe when you come in a little further, and the generator, there's no rust, there's no, there's no leaking. Normally on air conditioners, there's always corrosion and things. Nothing on this. And if you look at the engines, again, there's, there's no burn on the exhaust. The, the blowers are, are nice and clean. There's no, I, I can't say there's no rust. I don't see any rust to speak of on these engines. Dripless seals. Dual Raycor filters. And if I can get out of the way, maybe you can get a little better shot of see how nice the engines are. This is the heart of the ship, and it's absolutely pristine. I, I seldom see anything as nice as this.